Previously on Savannah. We were going crazy. Where were you? I took a pill to calm down. I don't know. I guess I just I fell asleep. For crying out loud, you missed our wedding. I need some uh, Bronchofed cough syrup. Guest parking's on the other side. Maybe I'm not a guest. Got promoted. Who's my new partner? Dean Collins. Meet Sam Lucas. And how's your plan going for getting back at Burton? Well, I'm going over to see Edward and Eleanor now. Just like that? The hotter I look, the faster I get kicked out of second chances. Vic, I'd like you to meet Rita Winsler. Welcome to Second Chances. What is your name? Uh, Rita. Rita Winsler. Have you got Reese snowed the way you snowed me? Reese? Oh, I bet you she loved to meet your poor starving ex-wife. That's it. It's over. Madeline is going to spill the beans to Reese, and when she does, I can kiss the Burton fortune goodbye. Reese Burton? Yes. Hi, I'm Madeline Stewart. Before I tell you my story, I want you to know that I have your best interest at heart. That remains to be seen, Miss Stewart. <laughs> I told you she bought it. You look great in that wig. Oh, well, thank you. In fact... How'd you like to get married? It only takes 24 hours to process a marriage license in the <sighs> state of South Carolina. We can get married tomorrow. Oh, are you sure? Positive. Oh, did you book a nice hotel room? The honeymoon suite at the Hilton Head Colonial. Oh, well, that must have cost you a bundle. Nothing's too good for the future Mrs. Massick. Next. We'd like a marriage license. I need to see a driver's license, military ID, a passport, or a certified copy of your birth certificate. Passport? <clears throat> Thomas William Massick. Thank you. And you? Birth certificate. Reese Melanie Burton. Well, that's a lovely name. Oh, well, thank you so much. Oh, this plan had better work. I'm afraid that Nick still has the hot for Reese. He could never want her as badly as I want her money. <laughs> I'm as determined to make her your wife as you are. I want my prissy sister out of circulation once and for all. But all we have to do is make sure that she sleeps through her own wedding. Trust me, that woman cannot hold her liquor. Two drinks will put Reese out like a light. If you can get her a drink. I'll get her a drink. Hmm. You just be on time. Sugar, I wouldn't miss my sister's wedding for the world. Reese, you have to marry me. I do. Yes. You see, now that you've had your way with me, well, it's only proper that you make an honest man out of me. I've fooled you completely. I'm really a love him and leave him type. 
You mean that now that I've given away the milk for free, you won't buy the cow? Afraid so. Well, now that I'm a fallen man, <laughs> how about a nice romantic getaway weekend? Just the two of us. Mm, I'd love to get away. We will get a suite at Hilton Head Colonial. Oh, that sounds like heaven. And while we're there, we'll visit some of those cute little chapels. <laughs> You quit it. Not until you're Mrs. Tom Massick. here after work tonight? Well, I think I could be persuaded. <laughs> we can sleep in late in the morning and then go to Allerton Park for a picnic. I'll bring the lunch. Oh, that's sweet. Think I can fit a large pizza into a picnic basket? <laughs> you know what? I'll pack the lunch, okay? Oh, shoot. What? Well, I... I have a meeting with the accountant tomorrow afternoon. I'll go with you and we'll head out afterwards. Mm, it is not the riverboat accountant. It's my personal accountant. I'm being audited. Ouch. Mm. I'm going to be tied up the whole afternoon. But if you want me to spend the night tomorrow night, maybe we can go on that picnic the day after tomorrow. <laughs> Oh, assuming we can get out of bed. Oh, never assume. sake for yours. Look, I know that I won't get better without help, but... But what? I don't know. I mean, I've always been the responsible one, you know, the overachiever. I was class valedictorian, you know. I wasn't supposed to wind up in a 12-step program. Well, circumstances worked against you. Yeah, well, you know, I can blame circumstances. I can blame the doctors. I could probably even find a way to blame you, but in the end, it's nobody's fault but my own. I messed up. And you handle it. Well, I'm gonna try. You can count on me to help. You already have help. You want me to hang around? Um, I think this meeting is something I need to do alone. But thank you. I got here as soon as I could. What took you so long? Eleanor had me tied up going over our books. That woman watches every damn nickel. You're lucky to have such a diligent helpmate. Honestly, sometimes I wonder why I ever married that woman. The way she sticks her nose into my business, I believe I've been better off going to prison. Couldn't get this in prison. No, I couldn't. <laughs>
I love Hilton Head. You are so lucky. Mm -hmm. I swear. You asked Tom Massett to take you to the moon, he would. He was that crazy about you. He is good to me. Yeah. Well, since I can't have him, I'm glad that you're the one who got him. What do you think? Oh, ooh. oh, yes. Ooh, take it, honey. A weekend trip with your boyfriend is no time for flannel. Huh. How was your meeting? Um, well, you know, I, I thought it would be so hard to get up in front of a group of strangers and admit I have a drug problem, but I don't know, everyone made me feel so at ease. Mm. Can I honestly say it wasn't bad? Well, you're gonna keep going. Yeah. I'm actually looking forward to my next meeting. Okay. Well, that's good news. <laughs> and I have a sponsor now. You know, someone to turn to for advice and moral support. Who is it? Well, we're not supposed to talk about people outside the group, so I can't tell you much about him. Him? It is a guy? <laughs> yeah. Oh? Yeah? <laughs> It's our age. Oh, but is he cute? Peyton, what difference does it matter what he looks like? Well, it might explain why she's all fired up, anxious to go to her next meeting. <laughs> no. I mean, he is handsome, but... Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> <laughs> no. Don't tell Dean. <laughs> I don't want to know if did you get any good advice, so we'll give up chocolate. Uh, just say no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. Hey, Reese, um, are you taking anything nice for the weekend? How's this? Oh, no, no, not that one. No. What? <sighs> Reese, uh -uh. you are going on a romantic getaway with your lover, not a business meeting. Now, where is that dress that you bought the other day? And... Oh, God, no. No. Ah, ha, ha. Now, this one. This is you. Oh. It's perfect. I'll take it. Va, va, va. <laughs> How does it fit? It's perfect. <laughs> I'll take it. Savannah will return after these messages. And now we return to Savannah. Nothing like watching a pro in action. Uh, I, I didn't realize Edward Burton was so athletic. <laughs> oh, I love senators. They're always so enthusiastic. <laughs> Whoa, Veronica. Shame on you. Did Edward notice you had a different bedspread on the bed? He's a man. Of course he didn't notice. Oh, you have to make sure that nobody sees you taking that bedspread back to your room at second chances. That won't be a problem. I'll put it in the bottom of my laundry basket and cover it with clothes. Well, let's get started, shall we? Yeah. Sure. <clears throat> Would you uh, mind holding on to this for me? I wouldn't want it to wrinkle. She's a shy young thing, <laughs> isn't she? <clears throat> Just move a little bit to your right. That's perfect. All right, now arch your back. Great, that's great. Now just let your head fall over the side of the bed. That, perfect. Great. You're very good at this. <laughs> yeah. Tom, this is beautiful. Is there anything more I can do for you, sir? No, that'll be all. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Look at this. Because they'll make you smile, and your smile lights up my heart. Love, Tom. Too corny? I love corny. Mm. So what will it be first? Uh, swimming, tennis, golf? Hmm. I had another form of exercise in mind. Mm. I like the way you think. Mm -hmm. mm.
off to your audit? <laughs> oh, yes. How long will you be there? As long as it takes to sort through five shoeboxes worth of waitress receipts. <laughs> you sound like you're going in for a root now. No, that'd be more fun. Well, I'll go with you. Wait, what? Yeah, you obviously need the moral support. Yeah, well, I won't be back in time for the afternoon cruise, and with uh, Tom out of town, someone's got to be on board. Well, Dave can handle it. Dave, our bartender. Yeah, he does it all the time. No. Yeah, this audit really has you jumpy. <sighs> you want me to drive? No, I don't want you to come. I've had experience with audits. But it will make me self-conscious. About what? I am a sloppy bookkeeper. It'll be bad enough to hear about all my stupid mistakes without you there to get an earful of my financial shortcomings. You mean your financial fiction? Are you accusing me of lying on my tax return? Peyton Richards? Never. All right. The truth is that I consider my finances far too personal for anyone to know. You can know where to kiss me to give me the shivers, but not where I put my dividends. What's the matter? Nothing. No, don't say nothing. You can tell someone was wrong. What's the matter? Well, I wanted to take you to Quillicombs for lunch. It's the uh, hottest restaurant in town. And I'm not dressed right? Well, we're on vacation. You know, you don't have to dress up. I'll cancel the reservation, and uh, maybe they can squeeze us in for dinner, if you don't mind eating too late. It'll just take me a minute to change. Hold on. Is this she-she enough for you? It's perfect. <laughs> Great. You gave me too much change. Thanks. I bet you thought all big city cops were dishonest. You said it, not me. What's that? Roasted eggplant with olive tapenade on focaccia. <laughs> You're kidding. If I gotta work through lunch, I might as well enjoy myself. In Chicago, we always work straight through lunch. Yeah, but we do that here, too. We just don't get fancy about it. What do you have? A ham and cheese. Let me guess. On white bread with mayo. Yeah. I like it that way. <laughs> Lordy me. A gastronomic thrill seeker. You got a problem with the way I eat? Me? No. I, I'm tickled pink to be partnered with... Such a creative mind. Where are you going? Someplace else. If I'm gonna work through lunch, I might as well enjoy it. Oh, everything sounds scrumptious. So what are you gonna have? Well, I can't decide between the Snapper Diablo or the Linguini with clam sauce. So get both. I can't eat both. Well, didn't I tell you? The point of this weekend is to spoil you. So, order both dishes, eat what you can, and we'll take the rest up to our room. Are you ready to order? Uh, yes, we are. I would like the New York steak with pepper sauce, medium rare. She'll have the snapper Diablo and the linguine in clam sauce. Okay, anything to drink? Just water for me, please. We'd also like a bottle of Nuit Blue Champagne. Very good. Tom, that champagne costs $250 a bottle. Cancel the champagne. It's our vacation. Bring it. No! Tom, I'm not much of a drinker. Expensive champagne's wasted on me. Have you ever had Nuit Blue Champagne? No, but I've had plenty. Then let me spoil you. Bring it. It's worth it. Even if you only take one sip. Boy, you really go all out on vacation, don't you? Believe me, this will be a weekend to remember. Hey, what's up? Ugh, I've been out looking for a job. And? Bad day. Stopped in for a cup of coffee. Oh, it has been a bad day if you're willing to drink our coffee. Ugh, there are no openings for writers anywhere. Maybe I should join the police academy. Oh, please do. It'd be a lot easier to get along with certain other people around here. Where is your partner? Buying a high-priced designer sports jacket, for all I know, or care. So he dressed as well? Oh, he's a veritable fashion plate. What's wrong with that? Well, who cares what you look like when you're chasing perps down the alley? 
I'm sorry he spends money on clothes. My sponsor says life is short and enjoy it in healthy ways. Well, I enjoy life just fine wearing jeans, thank you. <laughs> well, I know what my sponsor would tell you about your partner. What? That you can't control the way other people behave, so learn to control your reactions to them. Just don't let your partner bother you. Well, now it's either said than done. No, I think it's good advice. It is. His sponsor sounds like a nice guy. Oh, he is. I hope he's not young and good looking, too. <laughs> Well, he's not nearly as handsome as you. Oh, so he is young and handsome. <laughs> Dean, what matters is that he's been through this and he can help me a lot right now. I better go. Thanks for the coffee. Take you to dinner tonight? You bet. I'll see you at seven. Yep. Delivery. Did you get the videotapes transferred to a CD? Right here. You sure this is gonna work? Let's find out. Oh, this stuff is so smooth. Do you know how smooth this stuff is? Oh, yes, ma'am. Smooth. <laughs> Uh, would you care for dessert? Oh, no. I couldn't eat another bite. <laughs> what do you say we have another bottle of champagne sent up to our room? Oh, why not? We're on vacation. Okay. Mm. I'm gonna go to the ladies' room. Uh, which way is the ladies' room? <laughs> Are you on your way over here? Yeah, I'm 20 minutes away. Great. Meet you out in front. Right. Check, please. you in the first place you can write <laughs> thanks so why hasn't one of our competitors snapped you up well every time i get a nibble from someone eleanor burton kills it with a bad recommendation well, i was hoping that i could sell you that article as a freelancer mrs burton won't approve any story with your byline on it <laughs> well i need an income more than a byline you can print it without giving me credit well in that case we're in business <laughs> <laughs> you don't know how much this means to me dan why, Lane McKenzie, what are you doing here? Oh, well, I just uh, came to say hello to Dan. Well, isn't that nice? My, my, what have we here? Oh, Lane, you really are a writer, aren't you? To keep plugging away when you know there's no hope of a sale. Shows you have your heart in it. Well, it's a good piece. I think we should run it. Really? This young woman vowed she'd rather starve than ever work for me again. You're thin, but you're not starving yet, are you? No, I'm not. So does this mean that you realize that was a foolish attitude for someone in your position and that you're willing to apologize for having been disrespectful to me? I was foolish. I'm afraid in my haste I misspoke myself, as they say. I never should have said I'd rather starve than work for you. What I should have said was, 
jumping out of an airplane without a parachute would be more fun. Swimming with sharks, boiling in a vat of hot oil picnics by comparison. Shall I go on? That won't be necessary. I'm afraid we can't use Miss McKenzie's work. Small coffee, please. Dollar's in. Hang on, I have a diamond here somewhere. Lady, you want the coffee? No, never mind. Now you know why I don't drink. Alcohol makes me sleep. Oh, who knew? <laughs> I wish I was the lampshade on the head kind of drinker, but... I'm no darn fun. Oh, you're everything I dreamed you'd be. You know, I thought it would be different this time because the champagne's so smooth, you know? Oh, mm, oh I know. I'm oh, so sleepy. Well, you can sleep all you want to because we're on vacation. We're on vacation. What was that? What was what? You want me to marry you? Marry you? <laughs> of course I'll marry you. What are you talking about? <laughs> you asked me to marry you. And I said yes. You did? Yes. Can you remember that? Remember what? That you asked me to marry you. I asked me to marry you? And I said yes. All right! <laughs> so we're getting married. Savannah will return after these messages. And now we return to Savannah. Okay, you got the disc? Watch the monitor. better. Hmm, here comes Rita. Oh, look, poor Rita's all alone. Not for long. Touch-ups here and there, and um, voila! <laughs> Full-color copies straight from the printer. <laughs> hey, you got a picture of Eleanor? I can put her standing in the corner watching. <laughs> That's a terrible thing. <laughs> Why didn't you think of it sooner? <laughs> oh, I can't wait to show Rita. Yeah, where is she, anyway? Laying some groundwork. Uh, 
So when I overheard Mrs. Burton say she needed to deliver some paperwork, I jumped at the chance. Well, that was very kind of you, dear. I wanted to thank you in person for all that you and your wife have done for me. I'm just me. glad I could help. I help? Second chances saved my life. Well, that's a wonderful story. And if I didn't have a meet in the rush off, too, I'd love to hear it again. Oh, I've taken up too much of your time, haven't I? No, of course not. These 17 minutes just flew by. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Are you okay? I'm, I'm fine. I, I'm, I'm fine. Please don't say anything. Mr. Burton didn't. I, nothing happened. Collins. Dean, it's me. Hi, honey. I'm calling about dinner. Oh, I'm working like a Trojan to finish up early. How about six thirty? Dean. What's wrong? Um, I haven't had a, a good day. Oh, then I'll make sure you have a wonderful night, honey. What's your pleasure? You want Chinese food, Italian, you name it. Dean, I found an old pill today. Oh, man, don't tell me that. No, I didn't take it. Thank God. But I wanted to. I mean, I called my sponsor and he talked me out of it. Well, that's good, right? I mean, that's the way it should work. When you're in trouble, you call your sponsor and he helps you. Look, I need to meet with him tonight. Why? You're fine now, right? <laughs> well, yeah, but I... I still have the craving. And look, I just, I want to talk with him some more. <sighs> okay. We'll go out tomorrow night. You don't mind? No, don't worry about me. You do what you need to do. Thanks, honey. No problem. Bye. somebody's eye. No, I doubt it was your thumb that caught his attention. What happened? What didn't happen? My car stalled in the middle of nowhere. My, my, my cell phone died. You got the wig? Yes, it's in my purse. All right, here, look, take this. Let's go. You can fill me in on details after we're married. Come on, come on, come on. Checked out some leads. Uh, we can finish the paperwork tomorrow. Uh, I don't mind working late, especially tonight. I can't. Why not? I'm busy. You don't look very busy. What's the rush? It's just paperwork. Well, if you're not doing anything important, I think we should wrap up the loose ends, that's all. There's nothing here that can't wait until tomorrow. I just thought it would be nice if we finished it together now, you know, as a team. I'm making an effort here, camaraderie. As much as I love your company, partner, I have plans. So long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you think I should start calling Edward Daddy after we're married? Well, I don't see why not. I'm sure he'd hate it. Oh, I don't believe this. Damn, this was supposed to be open. Well, okay, maybe there's someplace else around here we can go get a quickie marriage. This isn't Las Vegas. It's not like there's a church of Elvis on every street corner offering 24-hour service. Well, now what? Hmm? Savannah will return after these messages. And now, we return to Savannah.
Hey, Dean. What are you doing here? I thought you had a date with Lane. Uh, she broke her date to see her sponsor. Oh? Yeah, man, I can't complain. If she needs to see him, she should see him. Her sponsor's a man? Yeah. Why shouldn't her sponsor be a man? No reason. It doesn't bother me that her sponsor's a man. I just didn't know. I mean, he seems like a nice guy. Good. And he's helping her. I mean, that's the important thing. Right. Right. You're going crazy, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> I'm so lonely, I even tried to get Sam to hang out with me. Go home and see Jason. I sent him to his grandma's house. I thought I had a date. What about you? You want to go out and uh, get a burger or something? Sorry. Can't be a date. I have to wrap up some loose ends, all right? Sleep forever if this place isn't open or up the proverbial creek without a paddle. Huh. Uh, excuse me. Yes? Well, we saw your light on and we were wondering if it was possible we could get married here. Well, of course it is. It's a chapel. <laughs> I mean, tonight. Tonight? Who is it, Mother? Oh, that's my husband. Oh. Uh, the young couple here wants to get married tonight. Sorry, y'all have to come back in the morning. Uh, but we can't come back in the morning. It's past closing. But you don't understand. We only have tonight. You see, my fiancé is leaving for... Well, he's leaving for... I work for the government. <laughs> Honey, you really shouldn't say any more. <laughs> well, it could be quite some time before we see each other again. Maybe never. <laughs> Oh, it would mean so much to us if you could find it in your heart to help us out. <laughs> Don't cry, honey. <laughs> but what about the baby? <laughs> of course we'll take care of you. Oh, bless you both. <laughs> oh, that was humiliating. Edward Burton wouldn't let me stay at Second Chances. Unless, unless I had sex with him. So I did. You're making a very serious accusation against a state senator. Yes, I know. You had sex with the senator many times? Yes. Why didn't you just leave the shelter? I don't know. Why didn't I? Because you were destitute. You had no friends or family to turn to. Do I really have to be such a loser? <laughs> no, the point is you had nowhere else to go. That's why Edward Burton picked you, because you were vulnerable. OK. Ask me another question. OK. Did anybody ever witness the two of you together? His secretary saw me as I came out of his office after we, you know. So she saw the two of you? Oh, no. But I think she suspected something. Well, why didn't you just go to the police after the first incident occurred? I decided to tell his wife instead. I, I hoped she would help me. But she didn't care. His wife didn't care? It was her idea. Well, that's a nice twist. I knew you'd like it. OK, finally, the most important question. Why'd you wait until now to report this? It wasn't until now that I had proof. <sighs> and your address? Uh, it's 419 Plum Tree Road, Savannah, Georgia. Three, one, four, oh, four. And I'll need some identification. Oh. Right. <clears throat> I swear, they can send a man to the moon, but they can't take a picture on your driver's license that actually looks like the person. Oh. <laughs> well. Don't tell my fiancé, but I've had some work done since that picture was taken. 
Are you ready, Mother? Oh, indeed I am. Mm -hmm. Oh. Dearly beloved. D wait, wait a minute. What is with the pictures? They're for you as a memento. <laughs> that, that's sweet. Uh, let's get on with the ceremony. We are gathered here today. You know, we really don't need all that. We wrote our own vows. <laughs> oh, how romantic. Reese, <laughs> I love you so much. Words escape me. Oh, back at you, babe. Thomas William Massing. Do you take this woman to be your wedded wife? I do. And do you, Reese, Melanie Burton, take this man? Yeah, I do. Your... For the power vested in me by the state of South Carolina, I now pronounce you man and wife. May kiss your bride. Okay. Okay, let me see. No good. Nope. Nope. Can't use that one. Oh, wait, what about that one? Uh, looks like it could be Reese. What a bonus. Proof that she married me. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'm going to remember this forever. Aww. This night. Give me the ring back. Oh, I wish we had time to consummate our marriage. Let's just pray my bride is still asleep. Oh, come on, I gotta catch a taxi. Y'all enjoy your dinner. No, we should get started. Hey, how many in your party? Just one. Oh, it's not much of a party then, is it? No. You wait right here. I'll find you a real nice table. Thank you. Flame. Dean, what are you doing here? Well, my day canceled on me, so I came by for a burger. What are you doing here? I just came here to meet my sponsor. No kidding. No kidding. Where is he? He's right behind you. Jane, my sponsor, Sam, my fiancé. You're her sponsor? He's your fiancé? Uh, you two know each other. Mrs. Massick. Oh, for goodness sake. What is it? I still have one of the pictures I took of that sweet young couple. Oh, they have others. Oh, she was so sad because her husband has to go away. I'm sure Mrs. Massick will want every picture she can get. Hmm. I have the bride's address. I'll just mail it to her. Stay tuned for upcoming scenes from the next episode of Savannah. Next Monday on an all-new Savannah. It worked. I can't believe it. A perfect wedding was staged without the real bride. What is that? I put it there when we got married. We got married? But to take control <laughs> of the Burton fortune... Why don't we give it a chance? All they need is to make the marriage last. I demand that you wise up and you get an annulment from that low-life weasel. No, you do not demand anything from me, Dad. An all-new Savannah next Monday.